A brisk wind in the Essex new town of Harlow was the Conservative MP's assertion that his constituents are concerned about their mortgages, bills, and livelihoods. The government has behaved like libertarian jihadists and treated the entire country as if it were a bunch of laboratory mice for ultra-free market experiments. This is not where the country is, there have been horror stories after horror stories, and the scared voters here are also angry. It's terrible, I don't trust her policies at all. She has changed her mind about a lot of things, which worries me because, to be honest with you, I don't think she knows what she's doing. I'm not afraid, but I do believe this country can do better after claims that the new chancellor is now more powerful than Liv's trust. When asked if he or the prime minister is in charge, the premise is in charge. She has changed how we'll get there, but she hasn't changed where we're going, which is to grow the country, as the two of them met at Checkers. Some backbends have already publicly called for the Prime Minister to step down, and Mr. Hunt was expected to break another of the PM's promises and scrap plans to bring forward a massive cut in income tax. After conducting polls in their respective constituencies, Mr. Hunt will return to Westminster. This weekend, the plot to remove her will gather pace, putting her in jeopardy. Some MPs have already declared that the PM's position is in jeopardy. We need to have confidence at the top, and I worry that Liz won't be able to carry that conference with her colleagues or the country. The 1922 committee could change a rule that protects a leader for a year in the event of a challenge, but they will only do so if it is clear that an overwhelming majority of the party wishes us to do so, which I don't believe we are at the moment. Our reporter has been informed that the Defense Secretary Ben Wallace, who has been touted as a unity candidate to succeed, is focused on Ukraine and believes that harming stability would result in a deserved spell in opposition. On the other hand, the PM's tax cuts have been criticized by the UK's closest. Even though Mr Hunt maintains that the Prime Minister is in charge, MPs believe he is now a backseat driver, I wasn't the only one who thought it was a mistake to cut taxes on the super wealthy at a time when I disagree with the policy. However, it is up to Great Britain to make that decision.